Oh, hey, sorry. Welcome back to Utah Trikes. One of the most important things to do when riding a trike is to be aware of your surroundings. And the best way to do that is with a mirror. In this video, we're going to talk about the importance of mirrors, what our favorite mirror is, and how to install it onto your trike. Let's get into it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Could mirrors possibly be that important? Well, if you've seen any of our safety videos, you will know that the answer is yes. In fact, the main benefit of mirrors is the added safety that they can add to your ride. Safety is no laughing matter, and it's important to make it a priority. Thankfully, it's super easy with just the simple inclusion of a mirror. One more note to keep in mind before we get into the benefits of mirrors. In some places, it may be against the law to not have mirrors on your trike or whatever type of cycling equipment that you have that rides on the road. We recommend checking with the laws in your local area so that you can make sure that you're safe and protected when you're out riding. One of the first benefits of mirrors we want to cover is probably one of the most important ones, and it's how mirrors let you see what's behind you. Due to recumbent trikes being closer to the ground, it can be harder for larger vehicles to see them. Due to this, it's super important to be able to recognize what's going on around you so you can stay alert and safe. Mirrors make this possible, giving you an easy look at the road behind you without you having to do a 180 head turn. This is taking your eyes away from the road for less time and just makes a quick rear safety check much easier. Mirrors can help keep you safe when you're riding on the road or in any unfamiliar or possibly unsafe area. Even if you aren't riding on roads, a mirror can still give you peace of mind, giving you a more comprehensive view of the area. Changing lanes can also become easier and safer if you have mirrors. When you change lanes, you always need to be checking behind you to make sure there isn't someone there or someone entering that space at the same time. With a mirror, it can make this lane switch much easier by decreasing the time needed to physically turn around and do a head check, while also giving you a quicker option to flash a glance behind you if you need to move out of the way quickly. Now, just because you have a mirror doesn't mean that you shouldn't physically turn your head to do a head check because a physical turn gives you a much larger range of vision that you may not have in a mirror. But a mirror decreases the frequency you need to be turning your head around and allows for an easy rear check when needed. Now that we know what a mirror does and why it's important, what type of mirror is right for you? We offer a wide variety of mirrors at Utah Strikes, all ranging from different shapes and sizes to provide a different fit for what you find most effective. The brands that we carry are Zafal, Third Eye, CycleAware, HP, and Miracle. With so many mirrors in so many styles, it can be hard to know which ones are right for you and your trike. So we thought we would make a helpful guide to help you know which mirrors we offer and which one is our favorite. The Zafal Spy Mirror. This mirror is unique because instead of a bar end mount design, it has a tube mounted attachment style. This allows you to put this mirror on any tube portion of your trike, perfect for if you want some extra mirrors. The third eye handlebar end mirror is designed to offer a wide angle of view. This is achieved by making the bar end mirror convex in shape. The mirror is made of scratch proof glass that will not discolor or fade over time. It mounts into all handlebar ends and is held super secure so that it won't vibrate out. CycleAware is another unique mirror brand that we carry. Their style of mirror is the CycleAware Wingman bar end mirror. The Wingman is a teardrop shape. It is perfect for any trike with horizontal handlebars or our catch trike super mounts, and the long mirror size allows for a wider field of view. HP offers a variety of mirrors that work great with their trikes. The different styles of HP mirrors are all functionally the same, but offer different configurations for each type of trike. The HP mirrors have an extra large field of vision, so you can see everything going on around you. They have mirrors available for both their suspension and non-suspension trikes, so they're sure to have some that'll work for you. But out of all the mirrors that we offer, the one that is our favorite and is the most popular among our customers is the classic Miracle Mirror. That's right, it's Miracle, not Mirror Cycle. We all make this mistake sometime in our life and we all just gotta learn. The Mirror Cycle, the Miracle? Okay, restart. Okay. The Miracle Mirror is a three inch round convex glass mirror which is adjustable to any viewing angle. And that's all there is to it. The Miracle Mirror is a simple, no nonsense mirror option. But everything it does, it does the best. This brand is the mirror of choice for cat trike and as such can be found as the standard mirror on all cat trike models. The Miracle is the perfect mirror giving you a great field of view to see everything you need to, but not too big for it to be in the way. It may not cover quite as much surface area when it's compared to the HP, but it's an all around solid mirror and we recommend it. 
Now that you have your mirror of choice, let's get into the mirror install. The mirror that we will demonstrate with is the Miracle Mirror, because that's our most popular option. But most bar end mirrors will be about the same. Greetings everybody, this is Jan from Utah Trike. I'm here today to show you how to put together and install a Miracle Mirror. All right, so I took all the part out of the box. You got your main mirror. You're gonna have two arms, two wedges, depending on the size of tubing, where you're gonna put your mirror. And this was a bag of hardware, which basically you can see include the bolt, nuts. Be careful, there's some really small washer right here you don't wanna lose. And what I love about Miracle, not only are they made in USA, but they give you the tool you need. So basically, you really don't need any specific tool at home. You will get the tool in the box. All right, so first thing, I'm going to grab this arm, the L-shaped arm. Define which wedge I'm needing, I need. So in our case, we don't, we're going to use a big one. I'm going to grab the longest bolt we have, slide it through the piece, and here... You can see there's a 45 in the green goal. Same thing here, push it in. And on this side, this nut's gonna come in. So of course you can see it's round, it's gonna come sit in the wedge. So what I like to do is push the wedge down, engage the thread here. Usually until I see my bolt sticking out here. And here I'm gonna pull on the wedge. So you can see it's sitting in the U-shape now. All right, so that's the first part. Second part, I'm gonna take this arm now. So the two next bolts are gonna be the same, same length and everything, so grab one of those. And here's where it can be tricky. So you're gonna have to put on this one, one teeny washer, two teeny washer, Three teeny washer. So the first bolt is going to take three washer. I'm going to push it through here. Okay, so the washer you can see are on this side. And now, before I put it against here to help when you're turning it to adjust it, we're going to put a bigger washer. That's going to help with the friction. So from there, we're just going to go like this. So I kind of same thing, put a few thread in, and after grab the tool they gave me, and keep tightening it down. It's gonna feel like it's tightening a lot when they're still play, but that's normal. So don't be worried about breaking something, just keep turning until you're about a little bit more. You wanna keep it kind of loose for the adjustment, but you don't want too much play. There we go. So I can move it, there's no play, and I'm not forcing. So now you should have this part here. Grab your mirror. So always think about it. The arm's gonna come from this side. So the biggest part of the mirror is supposed to be the part that stick out on the left, or if it was on the right, it will go like this, see? All right, so this one, we're gonna put it on the left, so it's gonna go like this. So, grab the last bolt, put the teeny little washer. You're gonna go through here. So remember, we want the largest part of the circle outside, so I'm putting the bolt from here. Now, for the same reason, because of the friction, we're putting the big washer. And now it's going to come on the arm. So same thing, I'm going to hold it, turn it to engage a few thread. And when it's done, oh, use my wrench. And same as the first one, it's going to get hard to turn before it's completely tight. That's just normal. Okay, now we have our mirror. So we can move it this way, we can move it this way. And remember, it's going on the left. So if you look from the back here, largest part's gonna be on the outside. All right. 
All right, so our next step is going to be to install the mirror on the trike. Today, to do that, we're going to use a cat track max. So I'm going to show you where we like here at Utah Track to put this mirror and where we feel like it's the safest. So for me, I think that the highest it's going to be, the better it's going to be because you will kind of be able to see morphing behind and you won't have to look down. It should be around where your head is. So let's use the easy entry head here. We're going to have to pop the little plug here. So sometimes you can just pop it with your finger. Otherwise, use a teeny flat screwdriver and carefully pry it out. Here we go. So in our case, we're going to use this like this. So the first thing I know you're looking at is how am I going to see like this? Well, remember, everything is movable. So we're just going to have to turn it this way. And now we have a perfectly fine angle. So. We're going to use the same wrench as we used to put everything together, and we're going to tie this central part first. So as you tighten, you want to push against the mirror, because the wedge has a tendency to pull, push a little bit thing out. So just push it against the end of the bar, tighten it. And I like to use it this way, because that means that I can control how tight I get it. So here, I'm going to leave it like that. I want some movement here. So from there, I will sit in the trike and adjust the mirror on the position I have. So you can adjust it like this, but you can also adjust this angle and like this. So the ID is like your car mirror. You really want to be able to see outside of your left shoulder and what's coming your way. All right. So you don't want to push it too much out. You don't want it too much in either. You just want it where when you look in it, your left shoulder should be around here, exactly like a car mirror. And after you want to adjust this angle to be able to see a little bit of floor, but mostly what's coming on the road. And that's about it. Uh, if you want it to be somewhere else, we can put it here also on the max, no shifter, and it could go there too. Cat track have a really cool uh, uh, arm, mirror arm on the side too that you can get and hide here if you don't have the easy entry yet and it will come on the side and bring the mirror just over your tire. All right, so that's how you install the Miracle mirror. So now I'm going to send you back to Davey. And that's all you need to know about the mirrors for your trike. I hope this video was able to shed some light on why you would need a mirror and on what mirror we and our customers recommend. You can never be too careful when it comes to your safety and being aware of your surroundings. So if you don't have a mirror or weren't planning on getting one, take my advice and grab one of these great mirrors on this list. It's just an extra 20 bucks. It'll be worth it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. If you want to stay up to date with weekly trike topics and news, make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any other products you would like us to talk about. We'd love to hear your suggestions. With that, remember to relax, spin fast, and ride trikes. See you guys next time. That sandwich is coming back, bro. <laughs> you stop eating ham sandwiches. No! Find me a cheaper alternative that's as easy to make in the morning than maybe. Turkey sandwiches. Yeah, okay. <laughs>